Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome back to another AWS This Week where we find out what goodies AWS have in store for us from the past seven days. I am your friendly neighborhood Jess Alvarez and today we review a new pricing offer for Route 53. We'll shine some light on Elastic Cash for Redis's new regions. And finally, we'll take a look at the new EC2 instance launch experience in the console. Stay tuned to hear the full story in this episode of AWS This Week. Route 53 is Amazon's DNS service that provides a reliable and cost-effective way to route end users to applications by translating names like www.flyingbears.lol into the numeric IP addresses like 192.0.2.1. Route 53's free tier includes 10,000 resource records to any hosted zone. If you wanted to go over that amount, you would have had to request a custom pricing plan until now. As of April 4th, there's now pay-as-you-go pricing tier for Route 53. Customers can now add resource records over the 10,000 records free tier for 15 10 thousandths of a cent per resource per month. This means managing your records without opening a support case to get them in over the 10,000 records amount. High fives all around. Redis users, gather around and I'll tell you a tale. Elasticash is Amazon's in-memory data store service. The global data store in Elasticash for Redis feature provides a fully managed, fast, reliable, and secure cross-region replication. You can have your Redis cluster in one region and have the data available to be read from two other cross-region replica clusters. What that means is lower latency reads of under one second and disaster recovery across regions. If you had some kind of regional degradation, one of your healthy cross-region replica clusters can be promoted to become the primary cluster with full read and write capability. The promotion is usually ready in less than a minute, which means there's no loss in availability. But here's the big news. This feature now includes, ba ba ba, the Osaka and Stockholm region. That brings the number of supported regions to 21. Cost for using these new regions is calculated based on node-based pricing for using global data store, and then standard data transfer out rates from the primary region. Keep in mind that there's no free tier for the global data store feature. If you use EC2, Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud service, you should be familiar with the steps that you have to go through to launch a new instance. In order to change a configuration you specified, you would have had to go back to whatever step had that configuration detail. Well, not anymore. The EC2 console has a new launch experience. You do have to click the Try Now button to test it out, so make sure to give it a whirl when you have a chance. The new experience has all of your EC2 configuration listed in one scrollable page with a summary of your specification on the right-hand side, so you can review the configuration as you specify it. This update includes an easier AMI selector that makes the different OSs more visible and recognizable. You can also compare instance types based on whichever attribute you choose. The new view is not yet available in the AWS GovCloud or China regions, but it will be made the default view over the next month. I hope you enjoyed this episode of AWS This Week. I'll include links in the resources to cover all the fancy new things we covered today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join our awesome Discord community. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome cloud gurus and we'll see you next time.